This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Today's cook. Wait, let's do some shish kebab. Yep. If anybody there, anybody out there without Googling can spell shish kebab, comment below. Before you Google it, don't try to Google it and then copy and paste it in the comments. Like, right off the bat, just as soon as you hear me say shish kebab, spell it. The way you would spell it, and then spell it the proper way, but I'm just curious who could actually spell shish kebab. Anyway, it's your boy Mr. Beef from Backyard Barbecue. We're about to knock out some business, man. Gonna use some ground beef. We got shrimp. We got uh, chicken and uh, bell peppers. What else? And some sausage, man. We're gonna put all that together on a skewer. Show you what that looked like. And uh, how we do it, man. We're gonna rock and roll, man. Today is March Madness. Uh, Elite Eight. My team. Rocking the Florida Gator hat. And, see the flag flying? Yep. We in business, y'all. Hopefully we make it to the final four. Shout out to uh, Kentucky and South Carolina. Three SEC teams making it to the, the Elite Eight. Man, out of 68 teams in the uh, March Madness, three of them from the SEC. Shout out to them, because nobody counted us in. I think the Big Ten, they expected like 11, 13 teams to be in the, uh, in the 68. And uh, guess who left? SEC, baby. Rock on. Anyway, we're going to do some shish kebabs, right? Because it's about 12 o'clock. Game comes on at uh, 2.20. Hey, that's a good number right there to play for the cash three or something. Plus, I always do this. And that's a two as well. Or in other words, I say peace. You know what I'm saying? Or not. That might be a sign. Play three twos. Huh. Going to play cash three after I finish cooking. Anyway, that's another story uh, on my get rich scheme. But, since I ain't rich, let's talk about this dog on barbecue. Gotta eat. And uh, we're gonna make it do what it do. So we're gonna go in this house, man. Hopefully my gators make it to the final four. So uh, I look forward to watching my team in the, uh, in the future. Hopefully next weekend. Cause I would hate to watch another team. But, Cross my fingers, y'all. Let's see. Let's go on in this kitchen and, and, and whip up a concoction right quick, man, before the game starts. See you in the kitchen. All right, y'all. We back. And we're in the kitchen real quick just to show y'all uh, the products that's going on with the skewers. If you don't want to know what a skewer is, you use these types. Yep, this is the long extended version. I hate to use these. My wife bought me a kit for my birthday. Got my initials engraved in the... Uh, the box or whatnot comes with some uh, shears, uh, you know, stuff like that. But this is my first time ever using these, y'all. Um, I couldn't find my old school ones. So, I hate to break it out, but they about to get dirty today, y'all. Because it's all about videos. Anyway, what these are used for? Uh, you can put anything on there. Peaches, love peaches. If you, if you got peaches, take some peaches, slice them up. Stick them on here and just put them on the grill and then taste them. Then let me know what you think about that. Anyway, I got four of these. Don't know if I'm going to use them all. I got ground beef made into meatballs. Let me show you these. These are not your average size. They're a little bit uh, bigger than that. But I'm about to put them in the freezer so they can tighten up. Don't want them frozen all the way. Just want them froze a little bit to get solid. So when I slide them on here, they uh, keep they, uh, the size they are and they don't just fall off. So, put those in the freezer for a little while. I got my chicken. Took a chicken breast and sliced those up into pieces. Uh, so, it's going to be ground beef, chicken, uh, bell pepper. I got sausage and shrimp. I don't know if y'all can see this. Y'all see the green peppers? Y'all see sausage? Because I wanted to get the same seasoning as my shrimp um, or whatnot. So, here's the key with the shrimp. The shrimp will be the last part that I put on now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything on the grill with the exception of the shrimp. I'm going to cook those. I'm going to cook all of that. Then the shrimp is going to come last. And that's when I use my skewers. Um, reason for that is the shrimp only takes maybe uh, not even five minutes to cook. So ground beef, chicken, sausage take longer than that. So if you put them on the skewer, you're going to have some rubbery shrimp. Like they say, when the shrimp curls into a sea, it's a... Uh, uh, Good to go. It's ready to eat. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put up everything on the skewer last. So I'm gonna put these on my smoker, sausage, um, the bell peppers. I'm gonna put them on at the same time I put the shrimp, 
and I'm gonna show y'all that when I put them on there. So like I said, the chicken breast, the ground beef, and the sausage are gonna go ahead and go on. And then when it's time to uh, put them on the skewer, I'm gonna show y'all that video as I do one, and then y'all can just follow that uh, and do it for yourself. You can try it with anything, chicken and steak. Um, but hey, I'm cleaning up my freezer today, y'all. It's got to be summer. So all that meat that I have, you know, came across during the uh, winter months and whatnot, it's time for it to go. Um, like I said, it's March Madness. My team, Florida Gators, is in the Elite Eight. They're playing today. It is Sunday. I'm going to upload this video today. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, they're in the Final Four. Uh, I, you know, my little March Madness bracket, I had them going to this game, but I thought they were going to play Villanova. And I had, uh, wait a minute, no, no, that was last, last bracket. I mean, the last game. I had them beating Villanova, but then I had them getting beat by, I think, Duke or somebody. But Duke's already out of here. Anyway, I'm riding with my team all the way. We're going to put these on the grill and then make it happen. See y'all in a minute. Brickish. I don't even know if that's a word. Got my sausage here. About to post some more. Being there. Sorry to one of my subscribers that uh, uh hate the fact that I'm getting rid of Bud Light, but I don't drink it. It was given to me by uh, ironically by somebody, uh, a friend of mine named Gator. Uh, and I'm a Florida Gator. That's ironic. But yeah, he gave it to me. Gave me a whole case of it. You know, I do computer work, so hooked him up and he, he took care of me. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? The barter system, if y'all know what that is. Got my chicken here, cut up. About to put that on the grill. Uh, my sausage is going directly over the uh, the heat source uh, to get get the uh, the yeast in this bar uh, beer, but like to be exact, uh, going. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started, y'all. It's just kebabs. Once it's about done, the chicken and the uh, the meatball. Then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna put everything on there. I took the shrimp out. That's why I didn't wanna show you that. Y'all don't y'all wanna see me picking through the shrimp and the bell peppers. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this. Part started, y'all. Slide my wood chips over. We're gonna go ahead and put this ground beef on there because it takes a little while to cook. I'm just gonna do a few just to show you. Go ahead and put my, my sausage over the heat source. Like that. Ooh, that's hot. I'll do a few few chickens, man. And I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest of this out and come back and show y'all what it looked like in a little bit. Give you a close up here shortly. Bam, easy day, right? All right, we'll be back in a minute and I'm gonna show you a close up. Had a phone call incoming. Uh, meatballs coming along. Separate them up now. Thing looking good. Go ahead and flip this chicken over. Let it cook for maybe 20, 20 to 30 more minutes. And we're gonna come back. Uh, I'll show y'all the finished product. And then I actually I'll show y'all this once we actually get to the point where it's time to make the shish kebabs, right? Y'all know how food looks when it's done. Uh, we're gonna pull it off right before it's done and then go from that. So maybe 20 more minutes on the grill, then we're gonna put them on the, on the skewers and then stick them back on the grill. See y'all in the kitchen when we do this. All right, YouTube, we back. Let me get a close up on this meat and how it look. So I got everything separated, not really touching. It's about to touch now, but that's just how I do my food. Some people are, you know, they trip on this type of stuff, uh, but whatever, that's on them. Uh, what I did do is put my bell peppers in uh, shrimp just took them out of the plastic bag that was seasoned together and I put them in the uh, freezer for a little bit just to tighten up so without further ado I'm gonna show you how I do this pretty simple easy day just take a couple sausage you can arrange this however you want this is just how I do it bell pepper sausage chicken uh let's go ahead and do a meat meatball let's do two of each just like that probably gonna do more shrimp 
probably recommend getting some jumbo shrimp just because I used what was in the refrigerator, the freezer, went to the medium. I'm gonna do a, maybe four of these per. And then uh, you top it off with some, uh, another vegetable at the end. Look at that. Yeah, boy. That's just one of the four that I'm gonna use. The rest of it will just go uh, in the pot, the finger food. We're gonna put these on, let it do what it do. Anyway, I'll see y'all at the grill when it's time to shine. All right, y'all, y'all see these shish kebabs? Yeah, try to go ahead and put them on the grill. Let them do their thing, let these shrimp cook for a little bit. Either day. Simple. Gonna close this lid, and then uh, we'll be back in about five to ten minutes, man. The meat is already done. I just need the shrimp to cook. Be back in a little bit. Hey, YouTube, let's see what's going on, huh? Been about eight minutes. Uh, oh man. Get a close up. Ah, yeah. Yep. About to tear these up. Yep. I ain't really mess up my skewers either. Ain't that hot? Ooh. All right. Let y'all get a close up. Yeah. Go in the kitchen, man. Cut these up. In a nutshell. Y'all. All right. Just found out my team lost. Uh. It is what it is. Anyway, still rocking the old hats. Um, about to go tear this up. Getting kind of heavy. Y'all enjoy, man. Hope you enjoyed this. Shish kebabs. We're about to go tear these up, me and the kids. One for everybody. This your boy from Backyard Barbecue, Mr. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy.